we come to the phase number three, which is reintroduction phase. In theory, the reintroduction phase is basically you are being reintroduced some food chemicals that you didn't have during elimination stage. Just a, um, just a random example, for example, uh, you were not having any lactose, uh, for example, no cheese, no milk, and in, during the reintroduction phase, you can try and have something with lactose. It's just an example. It will be the same with all the other food chemicals. I will also give you an example of this. Okay, so we are back to the website and I will show you a few examples of food chemicals. For example, the common food risk factors are histamine. Yeah, maybe histamine not many people know, but everybody definitely know sugar. <laughs> so sugar is really very, very bad guy. Sugar can cause migraine immediately here on the website. You can read a little bit more about sugar and uh, why it is so bad, but sugar for me, must be avoided 100% of the time. I never eat anything with sugar. Since I started program and it's been uh, maybe like six months, still I never have any piece, any gram, anything <laughs> of sugar. Uh, so better we should talk about histamine because everybody knows sugar, everybody knows how sugar look and everybody knows uh, that we need to avoid it. I think even children know that sugar is not very good for your health. But, uh, but we cannot say the same about, for example, bananas. We cannot say that bananas are bad for health. They are maybe healthy, but it doesn't mean that they are migraine free or they are my they are migraine friendly. So sometimes in sometimes depending on your food tolerance, bananas can be not migraine friendly for you. It depends on your food tolerance. So when you test histamine with good days program you will definitely know if you are sensitive to bananas or if you are sensitive to uh, avocados to leftover food you will see let me give you uh, let me let me give you more examples of histamine just because it's here on their website and i can on uh, based on this food chemical i can show you a little bit more all right so histamine is also in apricots, bananas, all the berries, all the berries, blueberry, also cherry, everything like this, citrus, also never eat citrus, I'm so scared of citrus, dates, nectarine, papaya, peach, pineapple, can you see so many, so many um, raspberry, everything has Histamine. I am personally very scared of histamine and I don't really want to try it. I don't want to reintroduce it just because I'm very scared. I don't know if I would have migraine on histamine 100%. I'm not sure, but I'm too scared to try. Uh, I tried sometimes something because I already finished the program and I'm just on my own trying to reintroduce sometimes something once in a while but yes I'm very scared I don't want to reintroduce something and after that um, being disabled for a week or sometimes if I have migraine attack on something on some food I can I can be disabled for at least three days and after that I will have this migraine hangover kind of a thing and this is not a nice uh, place to be it's not a nice feeling I try to avoid things that I'm, I'm 
almost 100% sure that it would not be good for me. But I can say that I already tried gluten and I know because I, I, I've been eating gluten for a long time already and I know that I don't have migraine on gluten. I also, I also tried yeast. I don't have migraine and migraine free on yeast and gluten, which is amazing. I already tried potato. Let's find potato in the list. So potato has tyramine. And what it means, I tried potato. I'm good with potato. I have no migraine on potato. That means that I can eat everything with tyramine. Let's have a look what it is. So I can eat avocado, eggplant, no. I cannot eat eggplant because it has histamine. I can eat peas snow pea green pea that's great i can try sweet potato too but i'm a little bit scared of salicylate because i think i tried salicylate with cucumber yeah i tried salicylate with cucumber and i got a very bad migraine attack after that so i'm not trying i'm not trying sweet potato I know for a fact 100% sweet potatoes are not good for me. I can eat just normal potatoes but no sweet potatoes. Mm, what else? Tyramine. What else can I override? Black spotted fruit I can eat. That's amazing. Basically, that's all. I also have my own list. Let me find it. So this is an example how you can use their book. Because in their book you can find all the food chemicals and you can find a list of safe kind of <laughs> food that has, uh, foods that are safe and you can also find the list of chemicals and food that consists of chemical and you can go through it by yourself. That's why it's called do it yourself guide. So I already made the list for myself. Uh, where I wrote down everything what I need to try and what I have to avoid forever. In my list I have can and cannot. So in cannot I have many things and in can I have tyramine. So I tried tyramine and it went well. I am very happy about it. Now I have three more food chemicals that I am tolerant. Yeah, I don't have uh, like extreme sensitivity to those chemicals uh, and i repeat gluten yeast and tyramine i also can try corn and pga i just forgot what pga is yeah and also in my list i have casein that i want to test and i have this pga i will uh, write somewhere uh, what VGA stands for. You can also go to their website and just have a look at uh, information about those common food chemicals that can be a risk factor for you if you are a migraineur. And uh, if you go to their website just below bananas and sugar we have caffeine and artificial sweetness, sweeteners. Uh, there are actually many artificial not only sweeteners there are a lot of artificial things that uh, they put in our food which we buy which is pre-made or processed food uh, for me i try to avoid this kind of things 100 percent completely i never eat anything with artificial anything whenever i see e and a random number it's not for me 100%. I don't even try, I don't even want to know about it. It's too risky. I can tell you a story. Uh, it's a very sad story about artificial sweetness. Sweeteners. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> this, story, uh, this story happened long before I found uh, the Good Days program. And at that time when I, uh, for example, I would have migraine, I would think or uh, everything is so bad I need to make myself happy let's have a lot of ice cream because ice cream is tasty and it will help me to feel good 
so I would eat a lot of ice cream and one day there was some kind of uh, celebration of something and we went to uh, see friends at their house and everybody was drinking and eating something tasty and I had ice cream and fanta. When I came back home I felt so bad. I cannot even describe. I'm pretty sure if you are a migraineur you might experience something similar. And if you if you don't know right now the danger of Fanta or the danger of artificial food, processed food, things like ice cream, things like sodas, things like uh, drinks with sugar, you might consider being very attentive to those kind of things. Because when I was, I'm sorry, in my bathroom on the floor for hours and I was crying and I was so sad and uh, I was like asking the universe why is it happening to me? Why all the people, for example, all my friends at that house, they would eat and drink anything and nobody had any problem and I am on the floor in my bathroom and I feel so bad. Uh, I, wa I was like, why is not so unfair? Why is it happening to me? I was asking. And I started doing my research, just I opened Google and I started to research about migraine and then read one thing after another. And then I found this article about food and it says that Aspartam, which is in Fanta, is very dangerous in terms of migraine. And later in the, that article, they say about ice cream, that ice cream we can trigger migraine. And I was, oh God, I had not only ice cream, I had Fanta together with ice cream and that was my mistake and i made a lot of mistakes similar to this one a lot of because i didn't know that food can trigger my migraine and very very often i would eat because i was sad i would eat chocolate i would have anything tasty just because i was sad or just because i had migraine or because something happened to me and I didn't know that by eating something tasty I actually hurting myself more than this sad or this upsetting situation so this is a little story about my migraine experience one of my migraine attacks experience and uh, I just want to say to everyone who is watching and to everyone who is experiencing migraine, I feel you so much, I feel you through uh, all my body. I know how it hurts, I know how it is difficult to live with migraine and I give you all my sympathy, all my light and I really send you my hugs and understanding and hope that you can fight and you can fight back and you can win this fight and I know for a fact, I know 100% you can I was in so bad condition I cannot even describe I already said that I was in bed I lost my job I was just in the dark, in the dark room without any hope and I was about to give up but this time is over this time is over for me now I know I have enough knowledge and I want to share and I really really want to share my knowledge just 
for everyone who needs some support to win this fight. At this moment, I wanted to also say that maybe if I would know when I was 21 when my first migraine came to visit me, <laughs> when I knew, if I, if I would know that that food can contribute to my condition i would maybe i hope i would be able to say no to all the fanta chocolate and everything what coffee everything what would contribute to my migraine and i think that if i would know that earlier i would be able to control my migraine better and i would be uh, aware of of my health of just I would be able to help myself by just following this health lifestyle but not only health lifestyle but also migraine friendly lifestyle that's why I wanted to make this video because I wanted to share with all the people who are struggling and they might not know what to do that there is a way there is a light at the end of this tunnel there is it's not an endless process you you can find your solution 100 percent. i also need to show you what i eat in a day uh, but i have to make another separate video about it i can just give you a little rough example of everything i eat uh, every day uh, and also about drinks but uh, the list of drinks is very short I only drink water sparkling water I also when I buy sparkling water I carefully carefully check ingredients okay there should be only water <laughs> there shouldn't be anything extra okay because they sometimes add uh, whatever they want and we don't want that ginger water that's all only three options water sparkling water ginger water <laughs> you can also have chamomile tea sometimes i do have it but very rarely so my morning starts usually with uh, scrambled eggs i just uh, have uh, three four how many i want eggs uh, i made them as i like for example i like scrambled eggs i don't know why just i like and i also have uh, bread which i make myself i just make easy bread recipe with whole wheat uh, flour and yeast and water and maple syrup that's it i just made this bread and i have this bread with butter this is my breakfast then i usually snack for example i can have kiwi or watermelon or mango for lunch I have rice and uh, for example chicken I can also add some cabbage or something green which is which is in my list of safe foods and for dinner I uh, have some something similar to the, what I have for lunch mm. or sometimes I can have uh, a bowl with uh, rice coconut and maple syrup this is a rough kind of example of uh, everything I eat and in a day and I also uh, traveled a few times with Good Days program uh, one time we traveled kind of like backpacker thing with a motorbike around Vietnam I just cooked everything at home I prepared everything in advance I put it in containers I took with me and when we were at the hotel, I asked them to cook for me everything clean. Like I asked them to put nothing. <laughs> I literally asked them no sugar, no, no, no pepper, no salt, nothing. I will just do everything myself. So just give me salt, I will put a little bit. But don't uh, make my food tasty anyhow you think it can be tasty. No, thank you. Mm they were very understanding they would cook for me every day another time we traveled also i i would ask every time to just serve for me 
uh, for example steak but uh, no extra spices nothing on it and if uh, they for example serve me a salad I would ask uh, please uh, no tomatoes or no cucumbers just this or that and uh, of course I, at that time I didn't know I can eat potatoes so I used to say no potato <laughs> uh, I would say no potato uh, but now I can eat potato oh. <laughs> yeah I'm so happy I can eat potato I don't know, maybe my story sounds a little bit sad because I say that I cannot eat this, I cannot eat that, my diet is so poor, but it's not really. I don't think about food um, every moment, I don't think about food the whole day long or something like that. I have a lot of things in my life that I want to achieve and I want to um, spend time with my family, I want to spend time for my hobbies and with my dogs and for my work and everything and uh, I I make food and I like I like it, I like what I eat, I love watermelon, mine. if uh, somebody would ask me what is my favorite food I would say mango and I understand that it's not a dish <laughs> it's not Italian food or French food, I know, but it just, this is what I like, what can I do? I don't have preferences, I cannot say I like Turkish food or Indian food, I like mango, whatever. <laughs> That's it, I just like mango. And I'm so lucky that I can eat mango. So in my life, I don't, uh, I cannot say that it's uh, poor in terms of food, I still go out with my friends. I just have to have this 2-3 minutes conversation with the waiter because I need to explain to them what food I can or cannot eat and I also want to say a few words to people who experience just episodic migraines. I know when you experience episodic migraines you might think I don't need this um, good days program, I don't need anything. I don't need to avoid any food triggers, I, even if I have one migraine uh, a month, I just take sumatriptan, one pill and I'm good. Yeah, I understand this logic. If you know your food tolerance and your intolerance, your food sensitivities, you can avoid migraine attacks at all. You can just be 100% migraine free and you can take care of your health and I think it is very important I don't know about people who experience episodic migraines but I can say that even if you take a little bit of I don't know painkiller or sumatriptan any uh, medication is not really a good contribution to your health with scientific nutrition approach you can um, have healthy lifestyle and having no migraines being migraine free 100% of time all right thank you everyone for watching it's getting dark the light changed i see already i have to like wrap up this video i would love to uh, know your opinion please share your experience in the comment section below if you have any questions I would love to answer I also will link below everything that I mentioned and I will try to uh, add all the pictures and videos so you will uh, have those this visual support thank you again everyone for watching I will see you in my next video, bye bye, stay safe and healthy and I wish you a lot and a lot migraine free days. I wish you from the bottom of my heart. Okay guys, I hug you, bye bye.